We could talk for days about the proper distinction of law and gospel. Walther spent many evenings doing just that in talks that became his famous book. In the congregational exercise, you will be briefly summarizing law and gospel for your members. You probably do the same thing in catechesis. Both law and gospel are the word of God. Both are true. Both are holy. Both are meant for all people. God uses both law and gospel to produce an effect in human lives. But their effect is so different. To complicate the preacher's task, we do not start with a blank slate. Every one of our hearers approaches the sermon from a different place. From the bruised, broken sinner who needs to hear sweet release to the unrepentant, self-righteous hypocrite. In full force, the law crushes, condemns, and kills. It clearly demonstrates our spiritual state and inability to save ourselves. It shows our sins of thought, word, deed, action and inaction, and our sinful nature. The law is God's crushing checkmate. And what a contrast in the gospel. Taking all the attention off of me and only seeing Christ for me. Christ Jesus taking the full condemnation of the law in the place of sinners, facing every condemnation, even death and divine forsakenness. He takes my place and gives me his own. His sacrificial death on the cross for my sin and his resurrection and victory caused the Father to look at me clothed in the righteousness and purity of his only begotten Son. What a glorious gift. We know this. We preach it. This is the subject of our ministry. But as we start reflection on our proclamation, we should ask a hard question. Do we really do this? I always proclaim this, or at least I think I do, but is that true?